Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new video on channel. Today we're gonna to be going over the top five best and worst brawlers in the game right now. Number five for best brawlers in this in the game right now is going to be Charlie, guys. Charlie received a couple nerfs recently and received a lot of nerfs before, but it's still somehow top five on this list. I think Charlie's honestly just a very, very good versatile brawler here. You can play it on most maps and game modes. It's very good in draft and on ladder. It's pretty consistent if you have the right star, star power, which I don't really have here. Let's just make sure we don't concede here. And uh, yeah, so Charlie still very, very strong. I don't see them nerfing it any further. I think it's in a very good place where it's balanced. To a point where it's still strong at the same time. It's going to be like another Cordelius, I think, where they won't nerf it much. And it's still going to be very, very viable. So that's good. Okay, we're going to just be careful right now. I don't know. I don't know how he has hypercharge, but we also have hypercharge. I guess that makes up for it. Oh, we did not use our super correctly. We're going to be fine here. There we go. Right, I'm going to try and heal up right now and push up the map here. I'm just going to pop hypercharge. We're going to pop ours. There we go. We get uh, him trapped. He's going to go down and get him as well. All right, we've got a nice little double kill there. As you see right now, it's so easy to control the game with Charlie. You can get so many multiple kills here. You can turn the game into a uh, uh, 2v 3v2, which is very nice with the cocoon. If you want to just like leave them trapped, it's a guaranteed kill as well if you hit it. The hyper charge is still quite easy to get if you get so much value here. As you see, we're already halfway charged to our next next one here. Not the best map for Charlie, but we're still somehow making it work. Uh, need a pop is hyper charge. All right, we missed that one. That's quite bad. But yeah, we've got the neat hyper charge going in now. Did we get that goal? All right, nice goal from our random there. King of Brawl, he's going absolutely crazy here. Let's get our next hypercharge very, very soon here. Quite surprised that you get the hypercharge frequently. If you have, like, one good matchup, you can just keep farming it. But good thing we have, like, three good matchups here. You know, it's, like, three brawlers that Charlie is good into. So this is very nice. Okay, I'm be careful right now. There we go. All right, let's just run. Maybe we have a chance of scoring here. Actually, we don't. Let's try and get that kill there. There we go. He goes down. And we have 30 seconds left. Charlie is also very good at controlling. So we're going to try and play the control game now. And uh, if we get another super here, we might be able to score. All right, he misses his hypercharge. And tries to slot it in. Nice attempt. They're going to keep shooting right here. If they only had vision gear, that would be a lot helpful. Watching the surge. I don't think this Jackie should be able to score. Okay, yeah, no. Jackie can't score there. We're going to put him in a cocoon. And there we go, guys. That is going to be number five on our list. Heading over to number four. Number four on our list is going to be Max. Max, I think, is versatile pretty much on any map in the game, any mode, if you play correctly. With the introduction of the hypercharge, you get it pretty quickly if you're able to hit a lots of shots. And I think Max was slowly creeping up the meta beforehand, before the buff and stuff like that. So, yeah, I don't see a reason why Max is not going to be top five. Uh, I don't think it's too hard to play, obviously, it's a bit, a bit of a skill cap here, but once you learn how to, you know, auto-aim in the right places, mainly use your gadget. The gadget's the big part about Max here. You can evade so much shots and create loads of space here, so the gadget's going to keep up with Max. And then, as you see right now, we clipped a little bit, we already have a hypercharge, pretty much. Okay, let's just dash away there, run away from this Melody, who's crazy broken and is still, it needs a nerf. I don't know how this bullet hasn't been nerfed yet, but it definitely needs one. Let's just watch out for the goal here. Uh, Jackie looking very, very scary. Oh, there's a crow. Hello. Okay, we're gonna kill the crow here, maybe. Nope, crow does not go down. Run, Ed, go run. There we go. I'm gonna dash here. I'm gonna run away. I'm gonna just try and stay alive here. I just see one shot. Okay, gonna heal up now. Nice jump from the surge. Okay, I'm gonna be careful. Okay, crow's gonna be weak. Crow has hypercharge. We also have a hypercharge. We're gonna try and chill and, like, find a good place to use it. This map, again, is not the best for map. Max, but we have a decent matchup that we can make it work. Mainly this um Jackie is very, very easy for us here. So let's try and slowly shoot our way up. He's gonna go crazy. I'm gonna pop my hypercharge here and see if we can score. Okay. There we go, we managed to get the kill. I think we can score there. There we go. We make a, we make a nice little solo play where we managed to get the goal. Got a minute left on the clock on trying to either hold off or defend. But yeah, Max's DPS with the hypercharge is absurd here. And obviously the buffs you get from the super as well. I had there's some glitches with it though. So not quite sure if they're gonna fix that. Because it definitely does hurt Max a little bit. I'm gonna try and speed away here. And uh, yeah, let's try and get some DPS here. I'm gonna go down here maybe. One shot. Oh, don't run away. All right, managed to get the kill. Bro is getting beamed. He goes down as well. I'm gonna speed our teammate again. We do have a hypercharge. Maybe we're able to score. Let's see. 
Oh, all right, nice little play from me there. Managed to slot the ball in, guys. That's going to be number four for the best brawlers. On to number three. Number three for best brawlers is going to be Bell. Bell is probably the most versatile brawler in the game. I think a lot of these brawlers you can play on most of the maps. That's what makes them so good here. But yeah, Bell's been very, very good for the most part. And I think a lot of the new maps in the game cater towards Bell here. That you can play it anywhere. This Piper is going to curve me probably. Nope, he's just absolutely better here. So normally, I would be playing lane here. I don't know why I'm playing mid. Because we have a Piper mid available. But we're not going to complain. We're going to try and uh, do our best here. Okay, he's just triple tap me. Get shot onto him. Okay, we're going to just try and heal up here. But yeah, Bell's so good. It counters tanks, and I think there's a lot of high HP stuff in the meta. And there's also the Bell Hypercharge, which you get pretty frequently if you uh, pop off a little bit. Okay, he, he jumped away. Okay, we're going to go down right now. Crow is marked, which is good. But yeah, we are not cooking anything as of now. We need to try and get a Hypercharge here. We're a bit far away. Maybe we can get some shots onto this crow. This dude is spawning. Where is he? Where are you going? Where is bro going? Oh, okay. He's cooking. Never mind. Yo, he's cooking. He's cooking. Save him. Never complain and save him. Okay. All right. I'm going to need a pan turret here. All right. We are not hitting anything. The skin is it's the skin, guys. I'm telling you, it's the skin. The skin is it's not good. The skin is not good. Okay. Crow trying to push up again. You get a mark there. Okay. We have a hyper charge right now. We'll pop it very soon. Probably when he hits the trap. There we go. Pop that. He goes down there. Okay, we're going to collect the gems there. Nice little clutch play. We have 10 gems right now. Where are you going? Alright, he's going to go down there. Going to mark the stew jumping in. Nope, it's the crow. Okay. Alright, so the hypercharge managed to do enough damage to kill the crow. Stu's going to be a bot. But yeah, alright. Nice little comeback there. It was a bit difficult, but we managed to clutch up there, guys. Bell's going to be number three on the list, guys. Heading over to number two. Number four. Two on the list is going to be Angelo. Angelo is still one of the best brawlers in the meta here. It received a good poison nerf, but they did not touch the base damage. And I think the base damage is where Ang Angelo is very strong. You can also go this build right now, which is going to be very helpful with the main attack here. I don't think jump is very useful. I think the pierce is very underrated on Angelo and it just absolutely cooks the enemy team here. Like they're trying behind, they're trying to hide behind walls here, but they don't know I can just pierce through them. Let's try and get this 8 bit right now. So, look, it's gonna try and go behind the wall. Okay, or not. Oh, I missed that shot. We could try and one shot that turret, I think. Let's try and get some value here. Alright, we got the turret down. This max is gonna push me. I'm a bit scared here, actually. Maybe, maybe, maybe we do need jump. Maybe we do need jump. But, okay, yeah, we're doing quite well so far. Let's just try and get hit here. I'm gonna try and get a pierce shot in on this Macy. There we go. There we go. That's, that's exactly how you use the pierce shot there. Just helping out the lanes. So much easier as long as your teammates got you covered if there's like an aggro brawler on you they should try and help you out here and okay there you go see look at that that's exactly the support i need just uh try and get this guy there there we go all right we're not doing too bad and uh yeah that should be the victory guys so yeah angelo received a lot of nerves i think a lot of brawlers on this list were quite broken at one point and they received a lot of nerves but they're still very very strong now on to number one for the best brawlers then we move on to the worst best brawler in the game right now, it's still going to be Melody, guys. It is, you know, I can't explain how obnoxious it is playing against the Melody. It's definitely, like, one of my most hated brawlers. Like, I just hate playing against it for the most part. So, that's why it's going to be number one on this list here. It's just too versatile. It does too much damage as well. But the thing about it is very high skill cap. But once you learn how to get uh, to a rhythm of it, like, you play on safe zone or something, and you know how to do, like, maximum damage here, it just goes out to crazy. So, we get a nice little kill onto the Crow. I'm going to try and heal up a little bit here. Uh, they also have a melody, and that melody went crazy. Okay, we're trying to get some hits here from the crow. Um, we're going to go down right now. Okay, we managed to avoid some shots. Okay, we're going to heal up here. Trying to save us gadgets here a little bit and try and go for the bell maybe is what we're going to try and do. Okay, do not slow me. Oh, he slowed me. Okay, okay we're pushing up now slowly, which is nice. going to just go here now. Okay. We are behind them. Let's see how long that lasts. I'm gonna try and heal up here. Dude, what hit me? Melody trying to hit me. Piper misses curve. All right, that's not good. Why is this Piper not mid? All right, it's not good. I think Piper's gonna go down. Oh, Piper gets a kill. Yo, these Pipers just randomly decide to cook. Nice, okay. Okay, nice, give me that kill. Okay, we got the kill there. Nice little Pam turret. 
Oh, we got sniped. That's not good. All right, back off here. Tommy, not Tommy. I don't know why I said Tommy. I thought that, said, <laughs> thought that name said Tommy. This Piper needs to back off here. We're getting some nice kills there, which is good. Gotta be a little bit careful. Okay, we're getting some nice hits with the notes. Um, where is Melody? I think Melody gave up. There we go. Let's just try and get the kill there. And there we go. All right, nice little clutch up. But yeah, that's the type of plays Melody can create. You can go in and just try and get a crazy moment in. It's similar to like a call when you go in. But yeah, as you see the highlights, their Melody went crazy as well. We managed to pick up the win, guys. Now, that's going to be top five best brawlers. But we're going to move on to the top five, top five worst brawlers. Top five on the list, guys, is going to be Chester. Um, yeah, Chester is not going to be very, very good. It's usable in some maps. Like, you know, you can definitely find some ways to use it. But for the most part, there are, like, so many better brawlers in the game that just do more than Chester. We kind of cooked that guy here, to be honest. Here. He got absolutely wrecked. You can carry on just wrecking these people here. And just prove myself wrong. I'm going to try and pop the heal here. I think he goes down. There we go. We get another kill. You mate, do not die. Do not die on me here. But yeah, Chester's shots are just a bit too difficult if you don't have a good matchup. And it's just probably one of the hardest balls to push in the game. And in competitive, you don't really see anyone playing Chester. If you do, then they're either trolling or they're just an absolute genius. That's kind of how it goes. Okay, we got a stun here. We miss our stun. Let's try and push this Jesse here. Alright, we managed to kill the Jesse. Do we survive though? Do we survive? I don't know what's happening in the bottom. Oh, teammates get kills. All right, that's good. All right, we're somehow winning. We somehow got a free kill into Jesse. Don't know how that's happened. Let's just pop that super there. Okay. We don't get any value. Nice slow from my teammate. Teammate, do not die, please. There we go. He's going to jump. Nope, he does not jump. That's not good. There we go. All right. Stun him there. Nope, we did not get the stun. Do not kill me. Okay, we managed to juke our way here. All right. Let's try and stay alive here now. Let's try and stay alive. Let's try and stay alive. Alright. Do not protect me. Can we get a little bait going on the left side? Does he know? Oh, he knows. He knows. Oh, he knows. Oh, no. This is not good. This is not good. No. Oh. That's gone absolutely wrong. Okay. We'll see if we can try and clutch up here. Nope. We are not clutching up. We will not be clutching up. Well, things happen, I guess. Things happen. I guess that's why uh, Chester is one of the worst. But anyways, on to the fourth brawler on the worst list. Fourth brawler on the worst list is going to be Doug. I know a lot of you saw this coming, but Doug is, yeah, Doug is not one of the, one of the good brawlers in this game. And he is definitely one of the worst here. Still has no range. It's like a Jackie, but without the speed buff gadget, which is a must on Jackie. I think if Jackie didn't have the speed buff gadget, it would be completely useless. But I'm actually cooking these randoms here because they they remain randoms. They will remain at randoms here. But yeah, Doug, not using competitive. On ladder, on some maps, it's, it's decent. It's usable. But for the most part, it's just, yeah, not viable. But let's try and cook here. I'm going to pop this. going to stay alive. Can we score? Can we score? Nope, we do not score. Can Surge score? Does he see the gap? Nope, he does not. Well, that's not helpful, I guess. That's not helpful. Alright, let's see. If we had a max or something, this would be a lot better. Dude, what is my gadget? Is my gadget the heal or the damage one? Nonetheless, we are not doing anything with this brawler. Alright, Surge's going crazy. He gets a kill. Alright, Macy, I'm gonna, need, I'm gonna need some help here. I'm gonna need some help. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Okay. Um, let's not leave the goal open. Alright. Nice jump. Alright, Poco, do not kill him. Run, Surge, run. Not giving the ball, that is not what you do. Alright, we're fine here, right? Yeah, Macy got him. Nice little slow from the Macy. Let's try and heal our teammates. There you go. You can, you can heal up, buddy. You can heal up. Okay, we're gonna try and push up here on this Rico, which is I, something I do not advise, but we have to do it so that our teammates can walk up. There we go. Look at this pressure here. We're gonna go in. We're gonna go in. We get a double. Okay, we just get this ball now and walk it in. And there we go, guys. Managed to get a win. Still not a good brawler, though. Moving on to number three. Number three is going to be Frank. And uh, yeah, so Frank is not that bad as a brawler. It's just you're never going to find a good meta for it. And this meta is good, except the maps are just horrible for Frank here. So yeah, Frank gets outranged on all these maps here. And then there's just so many better wall peak brawlers in the game. And uh, that's, yeah, that's literally why Frank is not very good. There's just so many better brawlers that counter it. So many stuns in the game. And then you just then you get to a point where you just don't deal enough damage. Do we get a stun onto him? We do. Alright, nice. Go. 
Let's just stun them both. Stun them again. You kill him, please. No, he survives that one shot. See, even after all of that, we got no value. We ended up breaking the map, which is not good for us. And this brawler just, yeah, not good. Not, not, not good. All right, let's try and get some values here. We got triple tankers. Surely we can just walk up and go crazy, right? Never mind, Jackie has a hyper charge. Maybe if Frank gets a hyper charge, this brawler can be very good. We don't get the stun onto him. Doug is gonna cycle onto us. Oh, okay, we can walk it in maybe. We have so much HP, yes, all right. I lied, guys. Frank is amazing. Frank is amazing at walking it in against one brawler. We're, we're so close to our super to a point where I don't know how we don't have our super. Okay, let's just try and pop this. Stun him there. There we go. And he goes down. All right, that's beautiful. That is beautiful gameplay here. Let's try and sneak up so Jackie doesn't see us. And we get like a crazy stun here. I think that's the play. There we go. Look at that. Bam. Top tips, guys. Top tips. All right, that is not a top tip. Uh, can we get some range here? Okay, managed to hit some. I don't know how we're hitting people, but we are. Let's just try and get the stun into him. Okay, we got the stun, but this Rico managed to snipe us halfway across the map. He's gonna get killed here. This Ash could 1v3 here. This Ash can 1v3. Zeta friendly. Might just go crazy. And he doesn't. Alright, that's fine. Okay, we got 40 seconds left. We're still winning. Frank is a good defense brawler, to be fair. So, I don't know how they're gonna try and score against us when I have, like, super defending. Okay, let's try and get a good stun here. There we go, he's gonna go down. Boom. Oh, he stole my kill. Okay, let's just go there. No, I messed up. No, I messed up. Uh oh, that's not good. I'm gonna try and stun him there, there we go. All right, nice stun. Get that kill, please. Please get that kill, I'm gonna die. Okay, he wasted all his ammo. We're good. Get the kill, all right. Can we score, can we get the ball? Okay, we get the ball, it's gonna shoot it in there, there we go. How does he save it? Dude, there's no way we don't score. Alright, well, that was an NT moment there. That was a big NT moment. We get the win, though. But yeah, moving on to the second worst brawler in the game. This is for all you uh, Spen LC fanboys out there. It's going to be Hank, guys. I'm sorry to tell you, but Hank is uh, Hank is not as good as Spen makes it. I don't know about this Hank milk stuff. Like, I, I don't really get that type of thing here. But yeah, Hank is not good in this game. It gets countered too easily. It's practically useless. And I think the changes they made actually nerfed the brawler somehow. So I don't know how that works here, but... Definitely not good. And why are my shots glitching? See? My shots are glitching as well. Like, I don't know. Like, my shots are literally glitching here. I'm gonna try and get my super here. And, uh, can we get hit? Oh, everyone's out of my range. Everyone is out of my range. Can we get hit onto him? There we go. Alright, Jackie is somewhere right. And does he get an open goal? Please don't get me an open goal. Okay, we get the kill there. Alright, we're going crazy right now. Nope, we're not going crazy. Okay, no, okay. We, we we survived the realm, which is good, I guess, but we need to try and go up the map here. And against two tanks, it's not very good. It's not very good. Okay, we got a nice little shot there. Let's try and wind this up. Boom. Oh, that's that's value. That is that is hang value right there. Alright, now we gotta watch this Jackie go crazy, maybe. So we go help him out a little bit. We can't get the kills. And we don't even get that kill. 100 HP. Frank needs a Frank. Uh, Hank needs a buff, guys. We should start a hashtag Hank buff. I think Hank needs some love here because we're not getting anywhere here. Maybe it's the hardest. I think it's the hardest brawler to push in the game. I see a lot of people complaining on how to push this brawler. Okay, we got super here. Super does nice wonders here, but again, we just can't make any progress. I'm gonna get wrecked by this cord. We go down. Can our teammates defend? All right, looks like they can here. Their Jackie has a hyper charge. I don't know if our Jackie has a hyper charge because he's kind of doing nothing. But let's see. Oh. Mm, there we go. Alright, gotta be a little bit careful here. Cord misses. Super, that's good. Overtime is not good for Hank. So, we're gonna try and avoid that. And, um, hopefully someone can grab the ball. And I can just get value here. Okay, that is not how we get value. I'm gonna push the ball here. We're gonna go down. This ball is just bullying us here. Jackie going crazy. Oh, he does have hypercharge. That's good. All right, Rico left alone against two hypercharge brawlers. But they're not going aggro. They are very, very passive. They are the most passive people in this game. Okay, maybe they're just gonna go in to get that overtime. That's one hypercharge. Okay, we got a hit there. I can clear the ball in the corner. Don't really like playing for draws here, but we might have to at this rate. Um. 
Don't know what's happening. I'm gonna try and save it. Okay, we get some nice shots in. I'm gonna pop our super here. There we go. I'm gonna try and kill him. There he goes, go down. Save it. No! Well, we conceded. We conceded. But yeah, let's move on to the worst brawler, in my opinion, in the game. And the worst brawler in the game, guys, is going to be Chuck. And I know some of you are thinking, why? Wow, Chuck is like broken in highs. Yeah, that is true. But it's only good in highs. There's no other mode where Chuck is good. You can play him on some hot zone maps if you really try, but there's always going to be better options here. But yeah, for the most part, Chuck is not good here. Even if it got a little bit of a rework, I don't see Chuck being good. The shots are very hard to hit. You don't get too much value from them. So yeah, so I don't think Chuck is good here. These guys are getting absolutely cooked though. Oh, my poles don't connect. Well, that's interesting. Let's even try and connect them here. There we go, put them in the middle. Now they should connect, I think. Um, okay, we managed to survive. Let's try and heal up here. Nope, this melody is gonna just absolutely wreck us. That's gonna be great. All right, um, we have seven gems to zero. Maybe I should be gem carrying. I should probably be gem carrying here. Let's even carry the gems here. And I'm gonna just save my poles. We don't really need it for anything. Try and help our Sandy out. All right, he gets hit anyways. Okay, let's try and go up and get some hits maybe. Okay. Just try and run away now. Here we go. Okay. We run away, we're collecting some gems here. I think they need to completely rework the way the brawler is. Like, I just don't see it ever being viable on other maps here unless it's like crazy broken, which I don't think is the right way to do stuff. Okay, all right, we just went crazy. Here we go. Don't kill me, please. Don't kill me. All right, we survived, guys. We have survived. We have survived here. Let's knock him back. Let's try and get some hits onto him. And somehow we've made Chuck look like the best brawler in the game because this tick walked into our um, super there. All right. We managed to clutch up and get the win, guys. But yeah, that's going to be the top five best and worst brawlers in the brand new meta. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.